Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and we're back with some more Long Dark. And today, we are safe and sound in the convenience store, the gas station, on um, this place that's not <laughs> Desolation Point. I forget what it's called. Coastal Highway. Yeah, yay memory, hooray me. <laughs> and uh, as promised, you know, I didn't loot anything. I, I looted these two lockers just to make room. Uh, to put away some gear so we're not dragging too much stuff and uh, don't worry you didn't miss much I literally found nothing in there nothing at all a bit of a disappointment but whatever uh, I haven't searched anywhere else I'm saving it for you guys of course I did drop um, the guts and skin that we found in our last episode let them uh, you know dry up and so we start crafting some stuff maybe hopefully oh boy anyways we're only day four and 21 hours into our current playthrough so we got a long ways to go guys long ways to go we almost died last episode or actually a couple episodes ago um but we seem to be doing better our conditions are 100 percent yeah all that kind of good stuff so uh, i guess without further ado let's let's start looting this place hey i'm excited this is a top tier loot area as far as um the coastal highways concerns definitely probably the best place to set up base and everything too Ooh, a soda i put away some gear as well i'll show you why i put it away uh, over here we have our tools and materials all right this is what i got put away uh, and over here we have our consumables such as medical supplies food etc etc right so that's what we got put away uh we're at 24.99 kilograms out of 30 so we're still carrying a lot of stuff uh, anyways, let's just keep looking for fat loot, I guess. I, I think that's the best thing to do. And while we're doing that, I am going to, um, respond to some of your comments. Because I haven't been doing that lately, and I feel bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it's a good way to connect with you guys and, uh, you know, show some acknowledgments. I absolutely do read your comments, although some of you guys, I, ooh, oh, bullets, nice. Uh, although, admittedly, I responded to some of you guys a little late. Uh, sorry about that, the YouTube alerts system is been kind of acting up as of late, and, uh, yeah, it hasn't really been kind of alerting me to your comments as well as it used to. But anyways, um, Custom Hitcher... Uh, who actually comments on our Steam uh, postings rather than directly in the comment section on our video. Uh, he mentioned that maybe we should stay in Desolation Point because uh, in his playthrough, he found a rifle in the warehouse uh, close to the safe area or inside a safe or something like that. Uh, I already have a rifle. I definitely appreciate pointing that out for sure. Next time I do go to Desolation Point, I might check that again uh, but I'm definitely not gonna go back to desolation point at this point say <laughs> uh, la vie you know say la vie but definitely a good tip though definitely definitely a good tip so if you guys are in the warehouse you find a safe um, look around you, you might find a rifle like uh, mr. Hitcher did uh, and Grande Johan said he enjoyed our last episode Always nice to see you around, Mr. Grande. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm really bad pronouncing So I'm probably butchering it really bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Simscraft says... Uh, uh, we're going to be something... Oh yeah, he's, he mentioned sarcastically that this episode will be us sorting our items. <laughs> uh, yeah, ooh, heavy hammer I think that's for uh, metal crafting later on down the road um, but yeah <laughs> I definitely try to avoid that as much as possible I did do some organizing before I started the episode as not to bore you guys too much uh, but you know I found it humorous I appreciate it Ooh, a fire striker that's really nice that's excellent it's gonna save us on some matches actually um, let's see Jarakus or Jarakus in Wonderland, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well, uh, mentioned that there are actually fur saplings northeast of where we are currently. So, if we want to create a bow, which I definitely do, 
it looks like we'll have to step outside and look for those fur saplings that uh, Mr. Wonderland, or Mrs. Wonderland, I'm not really sure, one or the other, <laughs> uh, is talking about. Oh, a hacksaw. That's good. We're finding a lot of good stuff in here, actually. Never found that hammer before. That's completely new to me. Uh, ooh, a new pie bar. That'll be useful. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check this drawer here. Here we go. Uh, let's see what else. Michael Hockley, or Hall. I think it's Hockley. H A W. I'm. I'm. I might wrote that down wrong. Uh, either way, Michael said that um, if we don't have lantern fuel. Ooh, a hatchet! Nice! Uh, we don't have lantern fuel. It is a good idea to actually drop it. Uh, that way we can save weight, and saving weight will also save on fatigue, allowing us to stay awake a little bit longer, which I think is a really good point, actually. It's something I should have considered earlier. Uh, but at the time, we were kind of playing nomadically. We didn't really have a home base, but uh, now that we do, it's definitely a tip that we'll definitely consider for future play. Um, we have Karnat, who said that our episodes of The Long Dark has helped him unwind after work, which, uh, you know, he honors me with his kind words, of course. it It's actually, uh, uh, very, very nice of, uh, of, uh, Karkat. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Karat. Or car, car cat. I, my writing's horrible. I can't even read my own writing, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but either way, that's a very, very kind comment. I really do appreciate it. Uh, knowing that I do bring some sor some form of enjoyment to you guys is, uh, is why I do this. Also, because it's fun. That's also why I do this. But also to entertain you guys. Lots and lots of fun there. Uh, Girly Gamer mentioned that... Uh, we could use our matches if we ever run out of lantern fuel for lights, which is definitely a good point. Uh, although I do tend to try and do my best not to use uh, my matches just for light. I try to save them for when we actually have to start a fire. Just because, you know, matches are really, really valuable resources. And I do try to save them for when we actually need them as an essential rather than uh, just for lighting. But definitely a good point. And probably something I should consider, considering that I am making YouTube videos out of our gameplay. Uh, and, you know, light would definitely help with that. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sinner uh, really wants the story mode. <laughs> which is completely understandable. Um, I'm more curious than I want it, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm, I'm curious to know what Hinterland will do to it, uh, or do with it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, for all intents and purposes, I want it as well, just out of curiosity, more than anything else. Mr. Gavin So said he enjoyed our last episode, very kind of you to say, of course, very humbling when people mention that. Um, and Megan mentioned that uh, she saw a, I think we already checked this, yeah, we did. Megan mentioned that she saw a wolf killing a deer for her and that's always a good thing I love it when that happens um, and she really likes our long episode format uh, and that's great because that's what we're here to do I, I like the long format as well I'm not really big into the, like five or ten minute episodes or anything like that I don't feel like you get enough done uh, and it's not very and even when it's edited I don't find it like a very good representation of the game and that's one thing that this channel tries to focus on is, is give you a fair representation of any game that we're talking about and that's why we don't do edits and all that kind of stuff right um, and uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much everybody that I uh, that I wrote down anyways if I miss anybody please let me know completely feel free to uh, rag on me for missing out on on your comment. <laughs> I will definitely do my best to respond to everybody on our next episode. I'm gonna try and do this a little bit more. Uh, but anyways, we just looted the place, and we got some pretty good stuff here. We're 12 kilograms over, so we definitely collected our fair share of loot. Uh, so now we do have to sort out some stuff. <laughs> it's just the way it is, man. It's just the way it is. Uh, so let's see. Right, I picked up some old man's beard and a bandage, and we're going to craft uh, one of these fancy bandages out of it. And see how that goes. Alright, went well, because we got it. Good. 
Uh, so I guess that's it for this. Let's just quickly put away some of, st some of the stuff that we found. Uh, starting with the materials. Uh, I'm going to count gloves as materials. Put that away. Ooh, this is a better toque. That's a better toque. We're going to wear that toque. Wear that and put away the other one for material purposes. Let's see. Let's put this one away. There we go. Uh, let's go into our tools. Oh, we got a lot of flares. Way more flares than we actually need. Which is a good thing, honestly. It's not a bad thing. That away. We'll just carry three at a time, I think. I think that would be a good thing to do. Um, we'll put away this bedroll as we found a better condition one. I think that would make a lot of sense. And I think that's it as far... Oh, wait, wait. Materials. Here we go. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. That's as much as I want to put away for here. Let's put away some of our consumables that we might have found. That we definitely found, actually. Uh, we got a lot of water. We're going to put away one liter of it. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oof, we got a lot of sodas. Let's put away some of our better condition ones. That way we'll drink our uh, less lesser condition ones. To... Save on efficiency, because that's always a good thing. Uh, probably don't need two cans of tuna, or sardines, whatever, whatever it is. God, what is, what's holding our weight back? I don't even know. Let's, um... Oh! Oh, I see. The heavy armor, uh, hammer. Yeah, yeah, let's put that away. Probably don't need the hacksaw with us either. It's already helping. Uh, we definitely want to keep our hatchet. But we're really, really overweight by like 5 kilograms. We probably don't need that much fuel. At least we don't need to carry it with us. So what we'll do is go into our tools. Oh, we got two lanterns. We definitely don't need two lanterns. Which one has more fuel? This one. Okay. Action. Let's refuel with our kerosene. There we go. Close that. We put away the kerosene and the extra lantern that we don't need. Put that away. We put the kerosene away. Ah, oh, there we go. Things are looking much better. But we're still really encumbered for some reason, so let's see what else we can put away. Um, we don't need the simple tool because we have the quality tool. We'll put this away. Ah, uh, we're getting closer now. That's good. Uh, definitely don't need two sewing kits. We'll put away to 100%. We'll keep using our 70% one. Uh, we got a bunch of rifle bullets. We kind of want to keep that, I think. Let's see here. Uh, reload. Okay, it was fully loaded. Let's put away our extra bullets, actually. And we can, that way, save on weights. I think that would be a good thing. Definitely think that would be a good thing. Let's see here. Let's go into materials, I think, or tools. Yeah, let's put away six bullets, transfer all. Weight's getting a little bit better. Let's go back to all. What else is holding us back? Okay, we got way too many pry bars. Um, I want to put away some antiseptic as well. So that'll be over here. And we'll put away our 89% version. Okay, looking better, looking better. Uh, what else is holding us back? We want to keep, again, we want to keep the hatchet. Uh, we want to keep the clothes on our backs, obviously. What else is, what's holding us back on our weight? It's just so much. Oh, well, um, let's eat some food. I think we could use a little nibble here. Uh, really thirsty, a little bit peckish, so I think a soda would be appropriate right now. So we'll drink one of those. All right, very good. Uh, still a little bit peckish, still a little dry mouth, so we'll drink another soda. Probably this one here at 30%. Excellent. Very good. Now we're looking good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're still a little encumbered. Well, we're not really encumbered, but we don't have much weight to play with, so we definitely have to do something about that. Uh, we are currently looking at our material drawer I believe or safe so let's just check here you know what maybe just two flares will be enough I think that will be enough there um, keep our sewing kits nothing else I want to put away in the way of tools maybe we'll put away some reclaimed wood we'll put away two pieces we'll keep three with us 
Uh, that's about as much. We can put away the cure leather. We don't need to keep all that. We'll put away this the newspaper as well. We'll put away that. There we go. Things are looking a little better now. And let's go back to our consumable locker here. Uh, go back to food. We're probably carrying too much food. That's probably what's going on here. Now that we have a nice safe area, let's start putting away some stuff that we might not need as much. Um, we got a lot of candy bars, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's put away that. Let's put away this one here. And this one's weighing us down a lot. We'll eat that next, I guess. Uh, that's about it, really. Well, we only have three kilograms to play with. I don't understand. Did they? I think they adjusted the weight to make certain things weigh more. I'm pretty sure they did. Because this is getting really difficult to put away <laughs> things, to be honest. All this stuff looks pretty essential to me. Looks pretty essential. Um, geez, guys. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. There is just... I don't know what to put away. This is just... This is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure they adjusted the weight, and I don't think I like it if they did, because this, this is really, really ridiculous here. Um, so we'll transfer a little bit of this. This shouldn't be here. These should be in tools. Alright, let's put this there. Um, let's put away... Uh, our hammer here, and yeah, I'm still stuck for weight, guys. Oh, we got four kilograms ish. Ah, uh, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Okay, I keep hitting F5 to quick save because I think I'm playing Fallout, and I'm obviously not. <laughs> uh, I've definitely been playing too much of that game. Anyways, uh, this place is pretty much explored. Let's go out and explore the surrounding area, because we haven't actually done that yet. Uh, maybe we'll find some of that fur sapling that uh, one of our viewers mentioned. I think that would be a good thing. Northeast. What, where's north? Oh, that's a wolf. Not surprised. Uh, we're going to just get rid of him. Yep, we're going to just get rid of him, because we could use his fur meats and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Playing that Merksman build in Fallout is paying off. What can I say? <laughs> All right. This is good. This is good, guys. We got a carcass right off the bat. This is actually exceptional. Uh, let's check on our weight and stuff. It feels like 10. Our war meter is pretty good. Actually, it feels like 3 degrees. So we're doing really, really good. So we're going to just harvest the crap out of this dude. I hear another wolf. Back, back, back. Looks like we have to. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hit him, though. I hit him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get off of me. I'll chase you later. Actually, no, I'll chase you now. I'll get that one later. Uh, we are hurt, though. So we better go into our first aid. Uh, first aid. Let's treat wound. Here we go. Treat wound. Treat wound. Alright. Tip top shape. Now, let's hunt ourselves a wolf. I don't think he's going to have much... Um, I don't think he's, he's going to run too far because we shot him. So he should be bleeding out pretty quickly. And we stabbed him. There he is. Just fall over, guy. I'm chasing you. Just fall over. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. Just die. <laughs> He's not running very fast right now. He's definitely getting exhausted. Not very often we can get this close to a wolf without being endangered in the long dark. This is kind of a treat, actually. Just fall over. I don't want using our bullet on you, buddy. There we go. That's it. Just just fade into that long dark. Just fade into that long dark. It's, it's gonna be okay, man. Oh god! Oh my god! It does that? What? What? Alright, that freaked me out. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know 
that they do that. I didn't know they will attack you in their last dying breath. Okay, now I know better. Note to self, don't taunt even, even a wounded wolf. They are still dangerous. They are still very, very friggin' dangerous. Oh my god. That was crazy. Alright, well anyways, let's just uh, harvest the crap out of them. We got two wolves, guys! Two wolves! Harvest. This guy jumped us twice. Took two good bites out of us. What an asshole. <laughs> Actually, technically, I was the asshole. I taunted him, so... It was kind of deserving, admittedly. I, I really didn't know they do that when they're wounded. I, I thought they would just kill over or something like that. But now we know. Now we know. Don't mess with wolves in this game, even in a wounded state. They are absolutely dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. Anyways, let's just keep harvesting. We got a lot of good loot this playthrough. So, uh, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. I like it, I like it. I like loot. Alright. So we got some meat out of them. Uh, looking, we should probably head in, actually. Our stats aren't looking that great. We can probably use a little nibble, actually. Let's just get inside before we do that. Because uh, a storm is obviously kicking up right now. Things are getting a little bit more dangerous. Um, and our episode is actually about to end. So in our next episode, we'll continue to look through the surrounding areas. Because we haven't actually searched this area much. We just pretty much jumped into the gas station. And uh, we'll see how that goes. For the time being, though, uh, what I'm going to do is probably just drop... Uh, let's go to our materials here. Yeah, let's drop our... Um, here we go. Drop, drop, drop. Drop some of this materials here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, good times, good times. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, of course. And, uh, next episode we'll search through the other areas. And, uh, before we do that, I'll probably do a cook-up as not to bore you guys too much. I'll cook up the meat that we got before we actually start recording the episode. We got a lot of meat, as you can see. It's definitely going to keep us fed for... Oh, at least half a week, maybe a full week in this game. Um, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, good times, good times. So yeah, um, if you guys have any comments for me in, um, you know, for the Coastal Highway, what you guys might want me to do, what you think I should do while I'm in here under stalker difficulty, uh, and all that kind of stuff, that would be great. If you guys have any tips to where saplings might be in the coastal highway, that would be really useful as well. I'm definitely going to go and try and find northeast of this building and try and find some fur saplings, as uh, one of our kind viewers mentioned earlier. Um, and I definitely want to create a bow eventually, because I still haven't made one. Boo urns, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll try and do that, see how that goes. But uh uh, feel free to comment with whatever, man, whatever. If you guys want to just share a story of your gameplay as usual, I definitely enjoy hearing about them. Uh, I find everyone's story a little bit different, and they usually end in tragic death, <laughs> which is always entertaining. Um, but anyways, folks, I am going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comments. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'll bring you lots more long, dark videos just like this. And other video games, too. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. All the shout-outs.